to this, but also when Kenya Kwanzaa is forming, what are these considerations that you're making? Because so far there's no agreement. What is behind the scenes? Particularly, okay. said there's money. For, for, for like I said, uh, like you're troubling uh, my brother Robert Mbui with uh, unnecessary uh, legal questions. It's, it's, Auka is dead. It's painless. I mean, it's, it's as a meal. Why it's, are you saying I'm troubling him? Th those, those guys joined on Raila's terms, not on their terms. It is finished. No, no, no. You know, and I will have uh, really want uh, Robert, even earlier, to explain to you what was there for them. Mm -hmm. even in the handshake deal. Because to be very fair, Kalonzo got nothing out of the handshake. Well, he's, he's done it again for the third time. For us, it, it means zero. I mean, Raila has just had the same, same person they were running with, same vote. It's perfectly okay with us. For Kenya Kwanzaa, we said that the agreement, and that is why we've not, uh, and I will not, I'm not saying I'm an authority in speaking for mm -hmm. Kenya Kwanzaa. But what I can say is that it was an agreement, a gentleman's agreement of, of, of a team that came together and say, first of all, let us deal with the issues that we have. We come with open hands and, and negotiate and we have everyone on board and we discuss when we are there. It is not about positions. It is not about who becomes the deputy president, who becomes the prime minister, or who runs what. It is, it is about the people and how as but, a team. But eventually, but eventually there has to be people holding these offices and politics would appear to be a given uh, absolutely and i mean um, uh, that uh, that is not at my level but on our discussion you can see Kalons, uh, you can see um uh, mudavadi you've seen wetangula and you've seen our team from central kenya it is even growing bigger you now have uh, moses kura joining the, uh, uh, yesterday you have kabogo you will uh, going forward you will see many other teams coming together and at that point then we will agree mm -hmm. who becomes what but for now i think the interest is about the nation mm -hmm. it's it's about Look, for, forget about even having uh, written agreements, okay? Uhuru Kenyatta, office of the deputy president is a constitutional office. It is in the constitution. It is written. Mm -hmm. It has not been obeyed. So what are, what are you saying about all this paper that is being written what do you mean has every, been, from what do you mean one has hotel to the other? I have seen a lot of, uh, I have seen a lot of, uh, of disrespect to that office. Mm -hmm. it, I mean, for the last uh, four and a half years, there's largely been this nothing. It's been an idle office. office. Uh, there has not been any work, and, 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 and like the deputy president did say yesterday, mm -hmm. most of uh, the people who are lied to him have been punished for supporting his, his, his bid for the presidency. Mm -hmm. So if, if Uhuru Kenyatta could not respect what is in the constitution, all this other paper is just but paper. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it means nothing. Th there's there's a, no gentleman. There is no gentleman agreement in this country. Th there's a question that has come through, and they're asking if you say that political negotiations involve money in this country, in billions, then how much did William Ruto get in 2013? Exactly. Uh, I, all I'm saying is that exactly. it was not from my end. It looks like there has been a negotiation of, and, and that was from, from uh, Dr. Alfred Mutoa, mm -hmm. who said, uh, and, and Kalonzo has not come out to counter that, who said that uh, Kalonzo has been bought for three, three billion. For William Ruta and Uhuru Kenyatta, it was a combination of communities. It was a combination of, of, of bring, collapsing all the parties to have one huge party called Jubilee. Actually, if the dream of Jubilee was to live today, it will be one huge formidable party that has been destroyed into pieces because of selfish interest. What we've done now is to go back to our political parties, from regional political parties mm -hmm. that we will use to negotiate. I have always asked myself, why should there be a party that cannot run a president? Why should we need all those parties to negotiate mm -hmm. selfish interest? That is exactly what William Ruta and Uhuru Kenyatta did. It was negotiation ODM of- ODM always did that. What? Sorry? ODM had a presidential candidate as ODM, remember? That's what I'm saying. I mean, th there was wisdom in having one solid party mm -hmm. and collapsing all these uh, tribal parties, having them as a formidable force. Okay. That was the union of William Ruta and Uhuru Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. uh, and I want us to make progress and talk about uh, what the deputy president <laughs> was saying uh, yesterday. Today he was in Thikam and said quite several things about uh, how they have suffered <laughs> under the leadership of President Kenyatta. And Honorable Koech, as we get that clip, okay, let's let's listen to it. It's ready now. Sisi njo tulitembea na wewe Kenya mzima, tukakutafutia kura, tukapanga Kenya hii, mbaka ukakuwa rais. 
tukakupigia kura mara tatu sisi ambao unatudhulumu sisi ambao unatufiga vita sisi ambao unatutesa mimi nataka nikwambie mheshimiwa ndugu yangu rais sisi tumeona yale umetufanya lakini kwa sababu sisi ni wacha Mungu sisi tumekusamehe sisi rais tumekusamehe na tumekuachia Mungu umetufukuza kwenye makamati ya bunge umevunja chama yetu ya jubilii umetuita majina tanga tanga umetuita wezi umetuita takataka lakini nataka nikwambie ndugu yangu rais sisi ambao unatuangaisha sisi ambao unatutesa sisi ambao unatuita majina sijui takataka sijui wezi my friend sisi ndio tulitembea na wewe okay <laughs> Nelson Quech um Should. how did you get here no, I, should. i love i love i love the the new william ruta bold bold and 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 and, and bullseye Because saying is as it as it is i think what william ruta is doing there is to call out on leaders <laughs> who are used to deceit and conmanship we were just talking about uh, oka signing a deal i don't know with who i mean if you cannot respect the office where uh, uh, let me tell you the history of william ruta mm -hmm. and uhuru kanyata is a long history forget about these people who are talking about William Ruta has done this forget, William Ruta has done William Ruta has been with Uhuru Kenyatta for the last 20 years he is the only one who came out to support him even when his own community at that time 20 years ago did not they did not see a president in him mm -hmm. he, has, he again supported him in 2013 supported him in 2017 all William Ruta is saying today is that this country is full of deceit is telling the nation watch out of the deceitful leaders who will feel nothing in templing on the on 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 on, on agreements that have been made he said yangu kumi yako kumi all the deputy president is saying today is you be very careful we have supported you and we feel I mean, if, if you were to do that honorable <laughs> coach you just said that the president has broken constitution article 130 and 129 if you were to support william ruto would he not he didn't, he, he didn't say he didn't say i mean uhuru kanyata <laughs> is the only uh, president who has left his party to that, support that, that, the opposition that's what I'm party saying. we were we had structures jubilee had structures it was clear who was a deputy party leader and who was a party leader jubilee is in office now he didn't see, need to say anything that, that, that's that's what I'm asking if what he is doing now he was doing for william ruto would he still be in contravention he didn't have to do anything for william ruto and that is why he's saying i'm not asking him all he needed to do was to respect the party structures and democracy within our party <laughs> jubilee where he a, was a party leader and william ruto is a dep was a deputy party leader so all he needed he did not even need to endorse and he did not even need to campaign for it. william ruto has not asked so if for he did he would still be in contravention all he needed to do was to be hands off william ruto will have dealt with these other guys comfortably like he is doing now mm -hmm. he, he didn't need he didn't he didn't need to to say anything mm -hmm. uh, about that so what will what the deputy president was saying yesterday is let's be very careful with the leaders also who come out and promise us and he's, and he's trying to tell the nation that this is exactly what we've done i have campaigned for uhuru kanyata we have campaigned as a team for uhuru kanyata i voted for uhuru kanyata rosa buyu did not vote for uhuru kanyata robert buyu did not vote for uhuru kanyata <laughs> i am i voted for uhuru kanyata so for people to come out and start lecturing us on how we should respect the president okay. is utter rubbish because we have done it did we have demonstrated <laughs> we voted for him Okay. Um, honorable quest just relax. Let's listen to No, Sam, we must take this on, please. Can yes, we yes, discuss yes. this a yes, little? Yes, you will. Just listen to what he said about the uh, Azimio candidate and that is Raila Odinga and then we'll hear from Honorable Rosa Buya. Mambo ya handshake. Mambo ya BBI. Ukatuambia haikukuwa ni mambo ya amani, haikukuwa ni mambo ya kuunganisha Kenya, ulituambia ati ilikuwa ni mpango ya kutengeneza kibaraka na mtu ambaye atakuwa stooge. 
So, uh, I mean, the, uh, is this what you call high octane politics? Sam, just let us breathe, please. Is it possible? <laughs> breathe? Because we need to breathe. Uh -huh. First of all, if you're talking about disrespect of the office of the deputy president, mm -hmm. I think it is the deputy president who has shown a lot of disrespect to that office. Why? Because he turned that office into a political campaign machine instead of an office that is supposed to help the president achieve his agenda. And many a time we had the president actually pleading with his deputy that let us leave politics for now. Let us work for the people. But the deputy president disrespected him and disrespected his office and made his office look like nothing else but a political campaign office. Having said that, mm -hmm. if you just watch the deputy president on the screen, I don't see a presidential material there. I see a man who's crying, a man who's wailing, a man who sounds like a jilted lover, a man who's trying to take the president on a guilt trip so that the president can say, oh, 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 and feel guilty, and I don't know, do what? You hear a man who is trying to get sympathy from Kenyans, and we know that this is what the deputy president has been doing all along. In many instances, he just weeps and tries to look for sympathy votes from the people. When the deputy president says that uh, when you did the handshake, you didn't tell us this, you told us it was for this, you told us it was, it was not for policy. Yes, when the handshake actually happened, it happened to bring peace into this country. It happened, to give, it happened so that we could have an opportunity where we could all focus towards working because of a peaceful atmosphere. But obviously, we are going towards an election and time has progressed. And there will be an election in August. And if the handshake has progressed to be what it is now, thanks to the deputy president. Don't you think the deputy president and the supporters that are with him who were elected on a jubilee ticket, don't you think they had a legitimate expectation to be treated differently, to but be persons of committees? I can meet a man today and expect him to marry me. But then, whether he marries me or not depends on how our relationship is. It's just not the meeting him that ends in that marriage. But so definitely, definitely, no, definitely the, the deputy president and his team had a hand in making sure that the president was re-elected. But then what happens to the relationship? You don't abuse that relationship throughout and expect that the end result is going to be what you had in, what had been intended or what you had expected right at the beginning. Because we've seen what the relationship has been. We've seen the deputy president and his allies abuse the president in words that I cannot even repeat in this show. Mm -hmm. So was it expected that the president must hold on fast to that expectation, initial expectation that they'd had, despite all these things that have been happening and despite all the disrespect that has been shown? And if I'm the president, and we'd agree that this is how we want to work, but all along you've not been with me and you've really gone the opposite direction, as if you're trying not to make me achieve what my agenda is, am I still expected to stick with you and, 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 and to, to, to stick to whatever agreement you might have had 10 years ago? So I think the person who's, who's really uh, brought us to where we are now is the deputy president and his hunger and his raw quest for power and his disrespect for the president. That is actually what has nurtured the country to be what it is today. Horrible Mboui, I mean, looking at this, a political union that Kenyans were looking at with amazement in 2013, as they named their cabinet. Come 2017, of course, President Kenyatta came to name the cabinet alone. We had the deputy president while in the UK saying that actually there were no, there are no dockets that were assigned to me. And it has ended up being like this. I'm looking at, once again, your party leader has on record said that there's trust deficit <coughs> on the side of Raila Odinga. So how different is it? And even if they were to win the election, how different would we be treated uh, having considered the situation of the Jubilee administration? You know, <clears throat> some the the problem is um, is an integrity issue, and uh, I would like to to first say that uh, what what I what we witnessed in Thika yesterday was was an embarrassment for this country. I mean, this is a country with uh, envoys from all over the world, and when uh, leaders go to a podium 
and address one person in the person of the head of state through media in that forum throughout. I, 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 feel, I feel pity on the people of Thika who are to be used as pawns to be, you know, to be uh, brought there. And then there was no conversation about them. I mean, the conversation was not about Thika and their problems. Every leader that we saw was addressing the president directly through the media. Mr. President, we are telling you, the deputy himself said, Mr. President, we did this. And I thought, I mean, the, have they forgotten that there is other medias of communication? You can write a letter to the president and it will reach him. Now, the issue is that... Uh, what, what, uh, what we are seeing is pretenses. I mean, we are a very pretentious nation, and that's a fact. Mm -hmm. Because the, the, when, 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 the, when the deputy president spoke yesterday, he acted like as if he's reacting to the fact that uh, the president has endorsed Raila Molo Odinga. And that's why he was acting now in, in a lot of pain. But look at the comments that have been made in all the political rallies that he has been the last speaker. They have insulted the president from 2018 all the way up to date. And he has never at any one time told them, don't. You know, if, I sit, if you sit in a political party, I mean a political meeting, and then, and then you insult someone, and your leader speaks last and does not caution you about it, it means he's endorsed it. So this, this thing has been going on. The disrespect towards the president has been going on all the way. And, and that's why it's come to what you're hearing now, my colleague here, Nelson, saying, oh, you know, people are given money. He even said, he didn't name names, and I found that very strange, because the minute you say, a leader told me, then you should be able to name them. A leader who told you that he was given 20, he's been offered 20 million, and then he says that person was offered 20 million and has gone back to UDA. Now, if the person has gone back to UDA, then there's no harm in naming him and saying this person, because then, of course, you are now giving credibility to your statement. But the truth is, this, these are the kind of comments uh, that Kenyans throw around. Mm -hmm. In 2013, we were told that DP was given three billion. Some said five billion. Some said, I don't know. I wouldn't say it because... Three, no, you just said it. No, I, I'm saying we were told. I mean, I'm saying that's a grapevine in the country. And I want you to, I want you, I want you to listen to me, Sam, eh? because... <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying that some of these things are said, there, there's no substantiation, but they are said by people. And, and, and I think this is a... here on the show, yes, they yes. become your words. Yeah, they become my words that yes, people are saying that he was given three billion, some said five billion. So, because do you have that any means facts to support what you're saying. No, I don't. And exactly that's what so I'm why saying. Are you saying it? That's why it's I'm, I'm saying that I'm, I'm castigating. I'm castigating that talk. You know, you're spreading a rumor. Which I am not. I am not about. supporting it. Uh, Sam, I want you to understand and, and me. Using I am. I am actually. I am actually telling him. I'm telling my colleague Nelson that when he said people are being given money, these are the kind of things that they keep using to fight others. Because it has been said before that uh, now he said that some people are given to 20, bill, 20 million. He said my party leader was, I don't know, being given 3 billion. I've heard people say that deputy was given. I mean, these are the kind of rumors that uh, really mess up our political space. So me, I'm, I want to say that we need to is have politics from, of ideas. From where you stand, is it true? I think a lot of it is hogwash, uh, in my opinion. I think a lot of it is hogwash. It's I think a lot of it... it <laughs> then, then, let, let's, let's not talk about it. If it so, so, so I think what I'm, what I'm saying is that I think it's important that that, uh, we, we do clean politics. And that's why I'm saying that if we get out to the podium out there to speak to people, mm. let us stop addressing other leaders through the, 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 the you know, through podiums. Mm. Let us find ways of addressing the matters of concern okay. to our people, because that's what really matters to them. But when you come and fight other political leaders... You have leaders, not answered my question about the yes. deficit. Uh, isn't that what I'm talking about, Sam? Please, that's I'm exactly about what I'm addressing. Kalonzo Musioka, yes. now working with Raila Odinga. Yes. He has said historically there's trust deficit on the side of Raila Odinga. Yes. How sure is he that this time round that trust deficit will not play out? Uh, how sure are you about anything, uh, Sam? <laughs> it, it's not, there are some things you can be sure about. But then, uh, if I could talk about my, our situation as a party and, uh, and our agreement with the party leader of ODM, mm -hmm. I think that's why we said we'd also like the president to be part of it, so that we can be able to work together knowing that mm -hmm. we've, co we've come up with an agreement mm -hmm. that can be respected by all. But the truth is that uh, Kenyan politics is a lot of trust uh, deficit, mm -hmm. and it's across the board. Wow, that is And I think that also points to the fact that the length of time that the, this negotiation took uh -huh. was just to also ensure that every detail uh -huh. that mattered to each, each candidate or to each person was actually covered. You know, unlike before, probably, where decisions were made hastily and uh, without a witness, without a third party, like Alonso had actually said that there was an agreement that he signed with just Raila or that he agreed without the other NASA partners also 
being party to. So I think this time you, you, you just needed to deal with every single bit and have another witness. Okay. And of course, it's a very important trick that I'll be getting the final word from Honorable Nelson Quetch. But first, uh, last night, Royal Odinga left the country for the UK for a series of uh, meetings there. And we understand that you'll also be addressing um, various uh, conferences. Those are the pictures from last night as he left the country. It is also a week that um, the United Democratic Alliance, that is UDA, uh, will be uh, having its national delegates convention. It's tomorrow, so as to name William Ruto as the presidential candidate um, of UDA. Thereafter, they expected that uh, the conclusion of conversations with Kenya Kwanzaa or within Kenya Kwanzaa would be held. And like I said, those are the images of uh, last night. You see Rolo Dinga there as he arrives at the airport to leave the country. And he left the country last night. And Nelson Koech, as we keep the pictures there, um, what is what are we to expect this Wednesday? I mean, this Tuesday, actually, that is that that is tomorrow. And thereafter, on the negotiations for the lineup. I know you're saying that you're not talking about positions, you're talking about Monanchi, <laughs> but eventually there has to be people in the lineup. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Uh, first is, is is to appreciate the fact that uh, William Ruther demonstrated uh, humility and, and democracy, so having gone through the process of, of the party uh, and mechanisms of picking a presidential candidate uh, a few days ago, and 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 ultimately was picked as uh, our candidate. Uh, we have our national delegate conference tomorrow, which yeah. uh, many delegates from across the country. Mm -hmm. From across the country will, 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 will congregate in Kasarani to endorse our candidate William Ruto as a, as, 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 as a party flag bearer and, mm -hmm. and, and, and give him all the blessings to run for the presidency of this country. In matters to do with um, who will get what, I think largely it's going to be I do not, I'm not private to that discussion, but it is going to be what, who brings what. I think that is important going forward because we are aware that uh, this journey involves many other people. Mm -hmm. It is important that we, we have a union mm -hmm. of people coming to agree together and principally agreeing so, so that we as a team can move forward. Uh, are, I, are, are you persuaded by Rigathi Gashagwa's statements that um, the running mate has to come from the mountain, or are you persuaded by Malala's insistence that Musala Mudavadi has to be the running mate? Every case will be, will be evaluated different. I really don't want to go up. Uh, it is not, you know, you're taking us back to, again, the mountain, you know. I mean, these uh, are like, but that's question. where you are. It is sitting on the table and agreeing and saying who brings what, and agreeing and having a gentleman's agreement on who takes what. What we are working for is numbers. To win presidency is not about just picking uh, uh, someone randomly. It's about agreeing, like Robert Bui was saying, you know, Kalonzo comes with one point something. Let us also have such an agreement and say, as a team here, how do we get to achieve the presidency with our numbers mm -hmm. and who gets what from where? Mm -hmm. I think that that will be the discussion. Okay. Then again, who, what, what will be the role of, of who and who? I think in Kenya Kwanzaa, mm -hmm. everyone will play a useful role. Everyone okay. for us means something. It's, I, I hear you, Honorable Koech. Let's it's really amazing. It's really, really amazing that uh, Moshimua is saying that. Because I thought Moshimua said this is not about positions. Now <laughs> you're saying you're going to sit at a table to look at numbers to decide who is doing what. So just be honest this, this and is, this is, is politics. This is, this is politics. Yes, this that's why politics. I want okay. you to be honest. All I'm saying yeah. is that at the end of the, t at the, end of the has it is a process. It's constitutional, luckily. You have to have a running mate. All you right. don't run for a president. Yeah, so just anyway. be sincere. At this, some point, you have to. Oh, oh, all right. Like you said, I think uh, there was one word that I agree with that this is all politics. Chalo Wood Rosie, it's likely Kalozo Musioka began for something before joining Azimio Laumoja and supporting Royal Odinga's presidency. That's why he delayed in making decision to join Azimio Laumoja. Nothing comes for free. We have F. Okango for us in Oka. He is the spokesperson of Oka. The negotiations had to be structured, open, and honest. I'm still waiting for that to open. We still don't know what that is. That has led to the formation of Azimio One Kenya Alliance. Our candidate is Raila Odinga, and the agenda is unity with development. F. Okango, you, you owe me an answer. Uh, Sir Jim Keith Okich, whoever pays the piper calls the tune. Kalonzo had no option but to tow the line as per the dictates of the president. For Martha, she had the freedom of choosing her own tune and dance. 
Okay. Engineer Lazaro Azimio, One Kenya Alliance Brigade bleeds. The loss of Kiambu soft spoken senator can't be taken lightly. Kenya Kwanza is also breathing fire. The president has decided and determined to unify the opposition to face his over ambitious DP tight race ahead, you say. And uh, Abdurrahman Ali, this, they say competition is healthy. Election Elections come and go. Kenya remains for all of us. We remain to be one and build a Kenya that we live in. Peace is very important. Let us not, not carry political rhetorics to, other, to our hearts. We are brother and sister of this nation. Peace, love, and unity. Thank you all. Honorable Nelson Koech. Are we and finished? Honorable, yes, we finished. <laughs> <That's> honorable Rosa <laughs> Buyu and uh, Honorable Robert Mbui for making time for us. And of course, you continue with this analysis uh, throughout the entire week and also focusing on the big events that are happening. My name is Sam Kituku. Bye for now.